Hello everybody, I am Kenna and I'm here today to do the devotion. So um, my title today is Expectations because we all have them. Um, we put expectations on everything. I mean, um, how the day's gonna go, what our love from, you know, sorry, as broad as how the day's gonna go to what we expected our life to turn out like. Um, and as I have some pretty big expectations, I'm trying to keep it under, under control. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be meeting with somebody I haven't seen in um, about a year and a half to two years. And I don't know if the meeting's gonna happen, if it's not gonna happen. And so my expectations for this is kind of high and I know if it doesn't um, quite go the way I want or it doesn't happen, I'm gonna be very sad. Um, but what we do know is the verses I'm gonna go to is uh, Hebrews 13:8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And for Malachi 3, 6, For I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore, you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob. And as in Hebrews, it's talking about false gods. And then in Malachi, about getting um, carried away. You know, we fall away from the Lord and we come back. And and uh, But God is the same no matter what we're going through or no matter what... Um, what expectations we put on life. We even put expectations on, we just, we put expectations on so many things. And as we're coming around to the new year, we have kind of expectations for what's gonna happen. Maybe some of us set new year's resolutions and um, we have those, again, expectations of what's gonna happen. And it's just so easy to get consumed or caught up in what we think, what we believe should happen. But when we stay focused on Christ and who he is and what he's done, it's it's the same. And I think of um, expectations and, and what was laying heavy on my heart too is for people that don't know the Lord, if there's anybody watching that maybe you do know the Lord, but you've fallen away and you feel like, you're expected to get your life together and come to Christ. God's the same. He loved you just as much as the day he formed you before time began as he does now and all the stuff you've done in between. And so um, don't let your expectations of what you believe Christ wants you to be um, get in the way of coming to know him or serving him or um, just our life with him, you know, and so I just, I hope that made sense. And uh, I just wanted to encourage you guys to not let our expectations get in the way of our, of our walk with Christ. And because as women, and I, there's guys watching too, but as women, our emotions can really uh, carry us through, but our emotions aren't to be trusted all the time. It's focusing on the Lord. And I love this verse in Revelation. This is literally one of my favorites. It's um, 2213. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. God is everything. He's everything before time began. He's just, he's, he's it all and he knows it all. And we can place our expectations on and in him and just have such a, a fruitful walk and life with him. So, um, so again, don't let your expectations get in the way of serving Christ or your walk with Christ or whatever, um, emotions they bring up or let down. So, um, with that short, little devotion. I am going to close in prayer and I hope this encourage you guys today that God is always the same. Father, I just, I thank you that no matter what happens tomorrow, you are the same God. I can trust you. I can live for you. I know you love me. I know you're working all things out, Lord, and I just pray you be with me and my brothers and sisters watching, Father, as we all have things come and go in our lives that give us high hopes, but life lets us down, Lord. So I just pray that you would um, be that almighty comforter that you are. And we, I just ask all these things in your precious name. Amen.